What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Doing a little, uh, little chaos drafting. So this is this is six mana for the same thing that Talran Summoning does for four. That's pretty bad, right? What is this guy doing? He's not for sure. Each creature or punch control toughness X or less for X is the number of islands you control. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Got a little hubris. Humbler of mortals. It's a five, five, or six. Things get trampled. Desperate stand. Sorcery, huh? Mm, don't like that. This pack is not very good. <laughs> um, oh god is it just is it just scourge and hubris 7 mana for a 6-6 six, six with no evasion is pretty bad but this whole pack's pretty bad the dog the, it's a 4 mana 2-2 two, two. Cedar Grove Dancer might be fine. I think it's Dog and Hubris. Ugh, God. Well, hitting a far as Enlightenment is not terrible. This card is good, given a given float. We can take Temple. I like Temple and as far as Enlightenment. Just stay the uh, stay the course. All right, we'll take it. Take oh, four four for six with Life Link, but then you can exchange your life, so you could make this. So let's say it went sixteen, right? This becomes a sixteen sixteen. No, it becomes a sixteen four. You go to four life, and then you gain 16. So you go to 20, and then it stays a 16-4. I think it's good. Gideon's Reproach is also pretty good. Divination's also good. Michael B's coming through. Am I sure? I'll, yeah, I mean, like, if I'm at 16 and I exchange my life total with this card, with its power, rather, um, my life total would go to 4, and it would go to 16. Then it connects as a 16-4 lifelinker, and I gain 16 life. I mean, seems pretty straightforward. I mean, I, I mean I've also played a, a lot of Dominaria drafts, so... Yeah, we're just gonna take Evra and probably Gideon's Reproach. I think Gideon's Reproach is probably better than Knight of Grace. I mean, four damage is a pretty reasonable amount of damage. But if you exchange life totals and they kill you in response, it does become an 04. That's true. I mean, Kazamina's pretty good here. And, I mean, Spark Harvest is obviously great, but we're going to try to stay two colors here. I think it's probably Callus Dismissal and Kazmina. Oh, Karma Guide is banging. So is King Crab. Oh, wow, that's a, that seems like a really easy pick. Jeez. Yeah, King Crab is fantastic, so is Karma Guide. Wow, this is a good pack. I'm 
I'm waiting for Michael B, so I'm trying to like not take too quickly. Oh look, he's still here. Wait, not still here, that doesn't make any sense, but he's he's here, you know. Whatever. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Michael, we're taking King Crab and Karmic Guide. That's cool, man. Okay, he didn't even care. I like King Crab. That's my favorite of the crabs. You're right. Let's oh, Pilgrim's Eye seems great, especially for our luck. Yeah, anything that search for land is basically a bomb for you. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be a fucking mythic rare. Jesus. Yeah, I'll take Pilgrim's Eye. That's an easy one. I can get Treasure Hunt and then always hit the top card. That'd be cool, right? Return a permanent you control and a permanent you don't control. I actually think this one is pretty good. Calcite Snapper is also pretty sweet as a 1-4 Shroud. I'm going to take that... that that Kelsey boy. Ooh, Gadwick? I'm in fact awake. I'm on vacay. I keep moving my stuff, man. I don't want to knock it over. Well, you just stood it up. I think you have the best chance of knocking it You're over. You're right. By standing it up. Yeah, we're definitely taking Gadwick here. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Awake from his birthday nap. Yeah, something like that. I wonder if we can actually facilitate any sort of mill strategy. I don't think so. Mill is always a trap. Unless you open that Sphinx card, then it's nuts. I mean, Banner's alright, but our creatures are pretty pathetic right now. So, like, we got 1-1, one, 1-4, one, one, 2-2 two, two that taps. I mean, I think I'd rather just have a nice early creature like a Youthful Knight here, so... Well, that's what I'm going to take. Oh, here's a 3-3 that taps a creature. We can get all the tappers. What do you do? Target creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a spell, you may untap it. That's a cool story, bro. It's all right. Look at all these modular, modular guys. Mergular. Mergular. I, mean, I do think this is actually one of the best cards in the pack, which is kind of surprising, but yeah, we'll just take this guy. It's a combat trick, whatever. Oath of Jays. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's just three mana, draw three, discard two. This is fine. Yeah, it's just a frantic search that, like. It's actually better than a frantic search. You only discard, you draw more than you discard. Doesn't untap you though. Oh, you're right. You're right. Um, Cyclone Sire is also pretty sweet. It's three four flyer for five. When it dies, you get to put three counters on the land and make three three. This guy's cool, but I don't know if we're gonna have any colorless mana because that's not a thing. Be a lot cooler if you did. I agree, man. So how many tappies do you need, man? All. Of them. Oh. Yeah, just take draw three, discard two. Kumina's Awakening. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card. If you have a City's Blessing, only you draw a card. Um, this gets hexproof and can't be blocked if you have a City's Blessing. Yep. This is a 2 2 flyer that gets a counter every time it attacks if you have the City's Blessing. Also, there's a Luminous Bonds. Wow, this pack is amazing. I think it's definitely Bonds. I think it might be the Birds. Bonds and Birds. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, before City's Blessing, Slippery Scoundrel isn't that great. It's just a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Oh, either Swooper. What it's happens when you spend energy? Yeah, you make a 1-1. You make a one -one. Not bad. 1-2 flyer. Oh, God. Man, Risk Cards Expertise is one of my favorite cards. Really? Yeah, card's sick. It's pretty good. Thopter Arrest actually is great. Exile an artifact or a creature. Yeah, let's take that. And obviously, if you know creatures, it's terrible, but... Who, the opponent? No, risk cards expertise. Oh, in play? Yeah. Sure. That's bad. Yeah, I'll take the swivel. 
Oh, another brown one. Oh, we're, just, we're just drawing. We got infinite of these. Let's take this guy. This guy seems fine. He's like a two drop. Let's also kill this. Basically. Right. Now our opponents will die. So we just got Bound and Sounds, Limitless Bonds, and Thopter Rest back to back. That's pretty good. How many packs do they have left? A lot? Man, our deck's actually looking pretty decent for how early we are. You may put a charge counter on an artifact. I really don't think that's going to be very good. We only have one artifact, so I'm going to avoid it. 3-5 Defender. Cool. Well, see you later. But it was not cool. Skinwing seems good. And also, Choking Fumes is actually fine. Put a negative counter on each attacker. <laughs> Oof. That card's a bomb. You want to splash this? <laughs> I wish. 3-3 three, three lifelink for 3 is actually great. And then you can cycle it to just give something else lifelink. That seems pretty good. What are the odds of us having a human and a non-human? Human. Non-human. Uh, did this make humans? Blue wizards. They have no, no race. Well, our humans are very low. We have one more human here, but that's pretty mm -hmm. much it. Mm -hmm. Definitely taking Splendor Mare. <coughs> cycling cards, these. We have no cycling cards. No, just... whenever creatures you control get plus one, plus one, plus two. Plus oh, one. this. I think you meant this guy. No, 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 no. I'm like, well, we're never going to gain life. Yeah, it's... it's like a trick that cycles when it's bad. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, Fieldness Border Post? Perfect. Nothing else, though. Perfect. An Anthem Answer? That guy's a bombing commander. What's a commander? What's a basic land? I ain't never seen those. Man, I wish this guy was... Our colors? <laughs> Isolation zone. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even feel like I know what that is. I think I've heard of that one. It sounds familiar. Oh from from Oath the Gatewatch, yeah. Alright. It's a guess for sojourners, whatever, we can cycle it. We're not gonna play it. This pack's rough for oh Banefire's interesting. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to take the Bane Fire in case we somehow get a way to splash it in the next two packs. Because, like, really, we, there's nothing in this pack for us. Yeah, Parasitic Strix is... Hell of a Lava Axe. Well, you can target anything with a Bane Fire, do you know that? Yeah. Okay. It's actually quite better than Lava Axe. I take the Bone Saw. Hmm. Now this is Chaos Draft. Supreme Chaos Draft. Bone Saw's ready. Remember Bone Saw, Michael? No. Well, he died. Right. He did actually die. I know. That's why I said it. And you can return Kavus to their owner's hands. Man, that was definitely not the best Spider Man, but yeah, so many memes came out of that one. When the center's battlefield, shuffle the cards from your hand in your library, then draw the many cards. When it dies, shuffle the cards from your hand in your library, then draw the many cards. Good grief. No. No, I won't. I'm going to take Aether Mutation. If we can splash it, that card's nuts. It's real good. And Death Grasp. Death Grasp. Look, like, there's nothing good in this pack for us at all. No, I wonder what set it is. Okay. Ooh, another banger. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Flying Pro Green seems pretty good, actually. Sigil of Sleep's kind of cool if you can make it work. Bottom right. We, we, mm, yeah. You have to have a pinger, but if you do, it's it's pretty sick. Or an unblockable -er. Yeah. Real yeah. any number of white cards gain two life for each card, man. That's wild. That's wild and crazy. To have it on current for the next one. I mean, we're definitely taking this guy.
Then your upkeep, you may put a page counter on private research. When the enchanted creature dies, draw a card for each page counter on private research. Yeah, all right. Okay. Whatever, I'll just take this and then we'll be done. All right, we need to cut two things. What's that turtle do? He looks real handsome. Look how beautiful he is. Oh, you can switch him? Well, that's actually kind of good. It's a 1 4 shroud. You ever had shroud before, Michael? Sometime he attack, but also he protect. He do, he do oh, attack. Oh, yeah, karmic kind? Oh, you did say that. It's a banger. Yeah, and you said, I don't care. Remember? Did I say I don't care? Yeah. I feel like you're just making that up. How much removal we got? Or, like, removal ask things. I mean, we can tap with these two. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if we could cut Hubert. Thank you. Mm, oh, maybe. Probably not. Uh, Thopter. Their removal's pretty sick. We could also put green creatures on top of the runner's library. <gasps> Do you want to board into the crab? Up, welcome back. What? Do you want to board into the crab? No, it's still just a. It's just, just a big dude. Yeah, true that. Um. Plus against green decks, man, it'll just kill him. Yeah, having that game on against green deck would be pretty brutal. On top, it just submerges them, get wrecked. Tempted to get pilgrims on, but I don't think that's good. Actually, we have we have callous dismissal as well. We can cut a hubris. Oh yeah, I can see that. All right, so one more cut. Or oh, we 41. also Gideon's reproach. I forgot about that. What's that one do? Four damage to an attacker or blocker. That's pretty good. I don't know. It might just be like it might be the mastiff, like two two for four. Yeah, but tapping a guy's good. Maybe battle mage. Yeah, that guy's good yeah, too. Eh, I don't know. I mean, it makes combat hard, but it's kind of slow. He 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 protect. Like he can make himself a three four blocker. It's pretty good. He's pilgrim line. That can't be right. No, I would never cut eye. I am the you ever, I am the sky. You ever use a pilgrim eye to go get a basic I'm and then equip with a skull clamp? I can change my no, I've never it's done the that. grossest value. 15, 16. Let's get a more white in here. Okay. 18 land in it? Yep. You know um, how we... No, 17 land. Plus a posty? 16 plus a post. Oh, yeah. No, before you got it, you got that Peruni for me? Peruni? Yeah. What are you saying? The Nimbus? No, I didn't get that out yet. Oh, okay. Michael, not everything revolves around you, buddy, okay? I know. I was just trying to use it for tomorrow. Did you know that? Hmm. <laughs> okay, well. You know what? That seems fine. My question is, do we play on turn one? Or do we play on turn three? And ramp us? Looking at you. I mean, it doesn't look like they're green. Watch, they're gonna play forest, and then we're gonna feel real. Yeah, into green guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> mm, just beautiful. You can't. 
This is amazing. You know what? I'll block. If you want to use a combat trick. I mean, you have this in your deck, which is real weird. And you don't have tricks for it? It's weird. I guess they were thinking we wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know what world I don't just block. Karma Guide? Look, this is just literally just put this in their deck to uh to get their crocs back earlier. Oh god. That'll be easy to beat. Seems good. Yep. Oh, no land. Fascinating. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we can hit a land, we can hit City's Blessing. You got it. And they still have five creatures. So we've seen Croxa and Garrick so far, along with Charging Badger. Making some weird noises with your mouth here. Yeah. How's that working out for you? Yeah. Pretty good. Cool. Zero four six seven. Now we cannot do the same thing. got a council judgment later on somewhere? I don't. Dang it. I don't have that. And unfortunately, none of these things actually deal with planeswalkers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess you got removal for this guy. You've had removal for everything so far, so, you know. Oh boy, they're really taking their time here. Oh, no, it's just a second planeswalker. <sighs> I fucking love it, dude. Two planeswalkers, huh? Both black green. Seems good. And uh, I believe there's a blue, I mean, oh, look, red, they black, red removal spell. Wow. So they have a bunch of rares and removal? Seems pretty good. I don't know what Nissa does, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. A it's a fucking planeswalker. They have two of them now. Unless it's the one that makes you discard cards randomly, it's probably good. I don't even know why I didn't attack with the other two wolves. It's just because draw cards. <laughs> I might be thinking of a different group, but whatever. What's he saying right now? Is that the group where he draws cards when wolves die? Yeah. No, he the, he gets loyalty when the wolves die. Okay. Big pooper spending G's. Say big pooper. What? <laughs> yeah, man, say the pooper. Hmm. Weird. Is that weird? Yes.
my package has chocolate shipped. Chocolate shit? Shipped. Chocolate chips? Yeah. Yeah. So they have two cards in their hand, nothing in their graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're taking eleven this turn. That's pretty good. Does the game how many mythics can our opponent have? Yeah. There's no winning. There's only losing. Discard out of Jace, I guess. I think having both of these is probably better. <laughs> that was a classic. Mm, I'm not sure I remember that one. Really? Wow, oh, man, you don't know anything. I want to argue that. Okay. Oh boy, they're only attacking for like a hundred? Eleven. I already went over that. I don't know if you heard me. Probably not. You don't care about anything, so. <laughs> so we actually have to stop this guy. I think that card you got handled. Put it on your face, and then attack your little planeswalker. Would I like to use this? God, yes. Good old Turtle. Snappy boy, snappy boy. What have you done? I mean, assuming they have no other bombs, they might be okay. <sighs> It's been a real uphill battle, though. Eggnog or hot chocolate go? Tough hot, choice. Is hot chocolate go similar to CS go? Yeah. They're both very competitive. Oh, that's wild. Uh, I'm a hot chocolate fan. I think eggnog having actual eggs in it is Thank weird. You. And I can never get past that. Antibody, welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, my dude. It is weird, but I do enjoy eggnog. But I also enjoy hot chocolate. Although I literally never drink eggnog, eggnog except for the holidays. Okay, so there's a tag with everything. Let's block your land. Wait, why can't I? Can't block. Oh, that's drive card that makes so a creature can't block. Sure. Wait, what? What? Oh, it has menace. Okay, sure. Oh, all right, I'll block here instead. Okay, that's fine. Sacrifice this unless you pay a green. Sure. So this is actually going to put us back in the game, I think, interestingly enough. Um, I think we just put it on this guy as a 5-5 flyer with lifelink. You have no cards in hand, so you can attack. Go to 7 of 4 attackers. I think that's good, right? No, I think I want to put on one of these guys to start trading with wolves. I think the one life is not super relevant. Oh, sure.
Okay, well, we're dealing with all these things. All right, now we're in top deck, top deck mode with them. Do you have a better board, though? We've dealt with two Planeswalkers and a Croxa so far, so. And multiple removals. Okie dokie. I have one card. Yeah, I don't really want to go to three here. Or four rather. Or two rather. I'll get the I'll get the number right. It's surely one of those. Ooh. Oh, and we got a king grab. That's a certified banger. And Karma Guide is a juicy one. Also, one of the few echo creatures that is sometimes is worth paying for because it Ooh, is also get, a do flyer. Get, oh, Gadwick's not going to count because it's got. No. A... Yep. Yoink. Nah. I feel like it was pretty good. She got pro black. This guy puts green dudes on top of your deck. This guy got shroud. This is a 4-4 lifelinker. They have to have something pretty wild. Show me what you've got. That's fine. It's not enough to matter. Yeah, I guess it makes their attacks a little better, but... Does it? I, mean, I, don't, give I don't even. I don't even care. He don't give a fuck. I didn't even attack. I mean, their attacks weren't good, but. I'm definitely paying for this. Oh, for sure. Ooh. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. That's actually pretty fascinating. We can bounce the Karmic Guide. Ooh. I don't want to do it yet, though, because I don't want to lose this thing. We can just keep putting... We can just hold this up and keep... Yeah, they did. We just swing in the air and just keep putting dudes on top. Unfortunately, they don't have a... Um, what do you call it? A green creature that will actually go on top of their library. Blanking their tokens is still pretty good. I'm kind of just tempted to bounce Doomwake Giant. No, I don't think we have to do that. No, that could be dangerous. <laughs> well, not really. They just draw it again. Like, we know what they're going to draw. Oh, no, we don't. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's a green creature. Oh, God. King Crab's really going to show his true colors here. I don't know if they know what they just did, but I think they done messed up. I don't think it was worth playing that guy at all. No, you just don't play any green creatures, because otherwise you're just never going to go anywhere. That's a good one. That is a good one. Also, how much do we got in the air? I think they just conceded. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. We only have six, uh, five in the air. Oh my god, King Crab OP. Well, Flying Pro Green is going to come in. Yeah. Huh? Probably better than Skin Wing. I imagine so, yeah. Man, Skin Wing costs fucking six to equip? Jesus. I think we leave the rest as is. Man, how I how I won against the friggin' Civil Planeswalker and uh Karakza deck is, is pretty surprising. Their planeswalker killed a creature, drew a card. They made four wolves. They croxed me twice, so I had to discard two things. They attacked several times with the lands. It's a significant amount of Yeah, I mean I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure they could have won that game if they played differently. I can't say that for sure, obviously, but. What can't you say for sure? I don't know. What do you think the odds are we hit a planes? 
It's not looking good. <laughs> Anyone else? Sure. Us? No. Nope. Basically zero. <laughs> Probably draw a turn seven. Well, so, we'll draw four four islands before then. Though. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing mono blue <laughs> until turn seven or whatever. Yep. yep. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This guy should help, right? No. We'll draw us three islands. Oh, it's happening. Well, two drop. Guess we can play it. Well, I did. So I hope so. You're not supposed to mold two two landers. 2-5 is pretty common. Oh, 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 all right. I mean... I'm just going to bounce this. Yeah, that seems good. I mean... I'll I mean, if we consider. hit a land and I can play Kazmina next turn, it's pretty good. I can just start pitching stupid things. And if it's a planes, Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, Rick. Man, that King Crab. Fuck, that guy's... That guy's a beast. That guy's a banger. No, oh, play him again, huh? Sucker. Oh, man. Oh. All right, well. <gasps> Excuse me. Get in there for one, I guess. I'm going to just draw some cards. I was just going to play Kazmina. All right. Well. Hmm. You can get extra value if you... I just don't want to like. I just play Casmina. Just get on the board. Yeah, I want to put a dude on the board. I think. Oh, keeping that. Probably getting rid of the Jace. No, that seems too good. No, I think Mystic's kind of poo poo. It's a three three for five. It's also double white though, which we currently don't have. Something to keep in mind. Also, all their spells the target creatures or planeswalkers cost uh, two more. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Planeswalkers and creatures? Or just planeswalkers? Planeswalkers and creatures. Ooh. Both, my call. Thought. The word you're looking for is both. Both them. Mm. Mm. No, I need one of those for my commander deck. You need a both them? Mm -hmm. One both them. Do you, do you get the foil both them or do you get the regular both them? The regular both them. Makes sense. I am the marker for foils, unless I open them. It's the only re reason I use foils. How do you come to have only one planeswalker and it's not a mythic? Because you draft wrong? I think so. I mean, for a non-mythic planeswalker, it's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't go up, obviously, but. But what? Making two two twos, drawing, filtering two cards, giving your guys pro, giving your guys sun titan or frost titan, sun titan, frost titan, sun titan, frost titan, sun titan. <sighs> okay, this is not bad because we do have Ifara's enlightenment. Or we can actually just Luminous Bonds this and kill her. One, two, three, four, five. Like, that's actually pretty good. Do they get the land till the next turn or just... No. Okay. Nissa never does that. Well, actually does she... one does. does which There's one, actually though? two of them that do. Okay, well she never does it except for two of the times that she did it. This The the one that doubles your mana, doesn't she do it? Or is it till you get to I can't remember. But I know the one that returns a card does it. Anyone remember what the mulligan was before Paris? I mean... Yeah, you just mulligan and then you draw six cards instead. Yeah. Yeah. Or five. Or four. Or three or two or one. I mean, killing their land here is pretty good, right? Actually, it's their only black source. Yeah, just double block it. Seems great. No, we don't get to kill Nissa now, but oh, that's actually okay. I don't hate that. I don't think one, two, three. I'm probably just gonna bonds this. Oof. Oh, crappy boy. Don't want to get rid of that. I'm just going to get rid of the Jace. 
Yeah, you don't really want to discard any of those other cards. I mean, they can if they want to make another land and kill this, that's fine. It did his job. If she dies, she dies. She will die. I just think in far as far as lightning is a little good because you can fly over their guys and kill their planeswalkers, which we've seen two of so far. So, ye, <laughs> ye, keep eyeballing them full boys. Full boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the full boys, Michael. Oh. I have a dilemma about full well, full art personally. What are they? So these lands are sick, right? These ones. Uh huh. But. Technically, it's better to play snow coverage in Commander. Well, sure. But, but like, how far do I value that over looking cool, though, you know? Is it better if your deck has no way to abuse snow lands? Well, it's this thing. Some people play X planar lands. So if someone happens to be playing X planar lands and you're playing lands of that type that are snow, because they usually use snow to avoid their opponents having it, you just get value. Value? It doesn't come up that often because it's not super heavily played, but... Okay, this is interesting. I think we just go with Farah's Enlightenment on this guy. Attack. Nissa with both. And then we'll play Splendor Mare and get back. Let's play Slenderman. Slenderman? And attorney get... of Law? Wow, he's an attorney now? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Because now we have Splendor Mare to, to give an enlighten, enlighten. We have to. We can enlighten our mare next turn. He's an enlightened elk. My friend does that might be as a mono blue artifact deck with foil snowlands. Yeah, so if you play, if you just play f snow islands in your deck and you happen to play against them, you just get double mana too. How so. many black cards do you think are in their hand? I hope all of them. That'd be sick. Oh, geez. <sighs> Christ. Well, that's discouraging. We get it, man. You like rares. <laughs> Jesus. We're just being overpowered by the quality of his spells. I also really don't want to put Kogel on top of his library, so... No, that does not seem good. This is the eye in the sky Looking at you I can get a land At some point you could start putting his food guy on top of his library then. Why don't I waste my thing? Yeah, but them drawing that's fine. Alright, we've dealt with the Nissa so far. Now to just deal with the Kogla. Oh, this also has Return of Human. You control its owner's hand. It gains indestructible, so they can actually oh. bounce this. So it's yep. pretty good, yeah, if they, real good if they realize it. Let's hope they don't. I mean, not that we can kill it anyway, but... If they bounce this, we get we get Luminous Bonds back in hand, right? No. <laughs> That's not how enchantments work? If only. Enchantments would be so much better. Or worse, depending on the situation. Oh my god, it does this when it attacks. It doesn't even have to connect. I go, oh my god. No, it destroys an artifact when it attacks, right? Or, or an enchantment. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it killed the Luminous Mons? Well, I'm definitely blocking with this because you could have just killed it, but... Oh god. It's going to be one of the two enchantments in our deck that deal with that guy. Spite Bellows. Turns out it's hard to be a 7 6. Even if it had no other text. 4 5 6. I guess if it had no other text, crap would be good, but. Jesus. I'm just going to pass here. I 
Man, too bad this thing doesn't give lifelink, huh? Huh? Yeah, that would be pretty good. Dude, we might have a chance. Oh, wow, they're just talking about everything? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, sure. I can change your mind. Okay. Gained a food? Or you drew a card? Drew a card, sure. You got it. Hollow Henge Beast, huh? Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just playing this guy. Maybe? Fuck. Yeah, we're just going to play big snaps. Snaps McGee. I want to be able to keep this guy up to bounce this guy, because having to deal with this guy and this guy is probably not ideal. Plus, we could double block this guy. You should have put it on top of his deck as it I'll keep. Well, then I don't have a blocker. Oh, yeah. You gotta tap it. Hmm. I don't want to bounce this guy. We can block this guy. Double block here. I'm not gonna kill one of your guys though, is the only problem. Yeah, I think we just have to get rid of this guy. Just that guy, huh? Yeah, I'll just take it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Double blocking ain't looking so bad now. Up to three enchantments. Okay. Oh, they're just coming with spike bellows. Sure. Obviously. That's pretty frustrating, actually, because. Oh, God. Pretty sure we have to block with this. And then they kill this. And then we have very few answers to this. So we block here, they kill this, we don't gain the life. If we block here, they kill this, we don't gain the life. So, like, the only situation is they kill both of these. Wait, how are they killing it? Because when this leaves the battlefield, it heals six damage. Oh. Luminous bonds are the other thing one time. They're bond bound in silence. 
Yep. Nope. Oh, I can't even actually. That's unfortunate. Nope. <sighs> and you can't kill either of their guys. Nope. So, yep, cool. Oh boy. Oh, pro green. That would have been fucking amazing. Jeez. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. And we have two X spells. Jeez. Maybe we just put one one uh we should just put one of each land, one mountain, one one swamp and one forest in here and we can get it with pilgrim's eye. Oof. How many on color bombs can one person have? Well at least one, two, three, four. I'd argue like at least five we've seen. Plus they have the XL three enchantments, so I guarantee you there's gonna be a situation where you have bound and silence, luminous bonds, and thopter rest on the board and they're gonna get rid of all three. And then we're just gonna die. Yeah. I'm definitely tempted to just splash one of these three cards with Pilgrim's Eye and just two basics. Oh, Death Grab is any target. That's pretty good. Yeah, you thought that was player? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, part of me says YOLO, just play that swamp and that grasp. It's very cost efficient, though. Yeah, my concern is like if I want to deal with a 5 5, it's 7 mana. Right. This yeah. is 6 mana, this is 5 mana. They also do, don't they have Doom Age Giant, too? <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> they do. Let's go with Bane Fire. It's right in the middle. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of Matt. God, again, like tapping just seems good. Yeah, youthful line actually seems like it's pretty bad in this deck. Yeah, I don't think it's doing us any favor. All right. They're not really a fast deck. Are you okay? Yeah. Hmm. Oh! We're going to hit it. gonna be like a mountain one half of the combo achieved <laughs> look at our three mana two for ones yeah whatever not about the griffy why because the program guy like if they have removal they're probably i know i was thinking it. that too yeah they do have black removal i just want to be more mana efficient yeah because you're searching lands, for two lands? Yeah. Sure, that's fine. It has other words on it sometimes, but usually not. Oh, the kicker's a uh, two counters on each creature? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Not that's a commander card, so I know about it. Well, no 
fourth land, fifth land. What are they got the six? Flyer Boys on them. Well, those Flyer Boys are at it again. If we can draw a Plains into an island, I think it'd be, be in good shape. I'd be willing to accept the other way around. Well, I want a Plains so I can put mix. Yeah, either way is fine, actually. I think our Flyers are actually doing some decent work here, but they do have six cards in hand and seven lands on board. Sounds a good combination. Gee, what are the odds that any of them are one of their five bombs? 100%? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, they have six bombs. <laughs> it never ends. Like, this every deck they've played seems like a different deck than the previous one. Yep. Okay. Well, that's good, because it lets us play Snapper and keep up. Um, Shooty. Yeah, it keeps up Shooty. I am the eye in the sky. So they play Garrick. Fat Daddy Hunter. <laughs> we have nine permanents. We're almost at the city's blessing. Which means they're going to magma spray this guy. We're almost at the Papa's blessing. Papa bless. It's a weird dynamic. I got the window open a crack, the fan is on, and the heat is blowing underneath. This is a, it's a very confused temperature system. Oh, good, Croxa. Okay. Well, at least it die, you know? It do die. I'm just going to get rid of Mystic. She only has any damage if it's a land, right? Yeah. Okay. It's your punishment for not discarding a value card. I'm not sure what's better, Blighting or Croxa. Yeah, that's fine. God, I just don't care about any of these creatures. I think we're just drawing three here. Hmm. Maybe I just... You get aggro. Yeah, maybe I just attack here. Yeah, I get aggro. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they have to block, so... Fair trade. Fill her up. Gasoline. <laughs> A solid hand. Your move. I mean, they might just be too far behind. I don't think their plans are going to help in this spot. Well, I mean, they have to kill Gadwick, or else I just play this and this and tap one of their guys. Oh, Gadwick has other abilities? Oh, yeah, he taps. Whenever you play a blue spell, you can tap a non-land permanent. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's real good. Ooh. He's basically now Sphinx's I revelation. New, now I got a new deck idea. <laughs> just mono blue control. Just all instants. Just like tap it, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> well, you like this? Michael just looks for any excuse he can to play blue blue decks. No, I gotta commander. stop. I gotta stop playing blue decks. I only have one deck that isn't blue. <laughs> Out I of my four, I lost all my friends. Well, I'm really surprised we won that match. Oh god. But even my mono green direct is really good at drawing cards. I will mulligan this hand. Oh, but this is a keeper. You can chip a land. We gotta chip it. We got we could chiply raise. Oh, it's Tetsuki raise. Yeah, Chipley sells the stocks. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Don't be stupid, everybody knows that. You fucking idiot. Yeah, imagine if it was a bounce line instead. <laughs> Buddy. I wish. I wish every land in limited was a bounce line instead. Bounce lines are so good in limited because there's like never any punishment for them. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Look at that bird. I got nothing to play. Mm, type 2 it probably was at the time. No, I think it was still called standard back when Alara block was around. Yeah. I yeah. played back then. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. You never even had a... I started in, like, just before Shadowmoor. You weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's eye back then, Michael. <laughs> How old do you think I am, man? I don't know. For... God. I'm getting mad. All right, I'm just going to discard. Ooh. Well, we have... Oh, Hermit you get him back. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Let's see. Ten. Should go to bed by two. Okay, so we got plenty of time. Plenty of time? Yeah. For what? Well, I'm trying to get up at 10. So. 10? Yeah. What's happening at 10? Not till 11, but 11. I got a commander brute game. Oh my god. Michael has an addiction. <laughs> it's fun. I like it. Oh god. It's real fun. Oh god. It's not comfortable. <laughs> You got travelers in <coughs> Hmm. Is it Oath of Jace or is it Skinny Wings? Probably Skinny Wings. It's a lot of mana. I mean, it's only four, and I can play it next turn. Come on. Yeah, but they're making a discard. You gotta catch back up, man. No, Michael, you gotta catch them all. You don't know anything about Pokemon, do you? Not much, honestly. Are you attack me? That'd be an odd choice. Wow. Well. Hmm. Do they know how racing works? Or do they know we're just gonna? Well, I'm definitely gonna kill Babriel here. Yeah, I'm but it's just I don't know. It's weird. I guess maybe they ever move. Yeah, this is worth not having a another card discarded. All right. Um. Out oath first. Also, you might hit some juicy to put in the yard for Karmic. I mean, I already feel like I got a juicy target. But it could get... No, that's probably Juicier? best creature. I think that might be a best creature. Three lands? Hmm. Well, this guy's kind of trash every time. No, I just realized they are in that guard. Gideon's just straight punching, that dude, in punching the face. that dude in the face. Yeah. You're getting hit by Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Gaston punching in the grill. Soup school. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Now watch me whip and watch me nay nay. Well, 
I feel like I'm playing a, a regular draft against cube cards. <laughs> Certainly feels that way. Oh, we got Mind Twist? Oh, cool. What do I got? Uh, we we got win, Croxa? But... Two plays walkers? Okay, cool. Narrowly. So long, all my good cards. Can you just let this respond? Jesus. Just said okay, man. Alright, crab, one day. Yeah, this has no pressure on us, but. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, good. I'll play Border Plus, you play Croxa. I'll play Oath of Jace, you play Mind Twist. Yeah, sounds about right. More like, I'll play Border Plus, you play Croxa. Got my crab coming down. What do you do? I'm sure he's dead. What's that Cranko do? Uh, whenever he attacks, you put a counter on him, and then you make goblins equal to its power. Seems good. It does seem good. It does seem good. Those Jorblins are gonna go wild. Terminate. <laughs> a classic. Well, see you later. So we have like one turn to kill that thing. Mm -hmm. Land. That's funny because he becomes a 3 4 when he attacks now, so. Yep. <laughs> This is amazing. Wrath of God? Do I have that? I don't. Let's just go to the next one. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. Great stuff. Kind of like a bane fire plan. Choking fumes actually something you seem terrible about against them. Take like locks it on Mystic out. You're kind of poop. King Crab, you're just a big fat idiot. No it's offense. Gonna hurt his feelings. No, I I said no offense, Michael. Obviously. Doesn't mean it isn't offensive. Oh, nice. Solid. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah, we're doing it. Mullen the five on the play. Mm. Sure. I guess they mulled the six. That's that's you know, that's better than nothing, right? It's really nice of them to Get rid of Skinny Boy and Reproacherino. <sighs> I 
Okay, we're, we're living the dream here. Joke's on them. I'm mulliganed five so that their mind twist and their Davriel is just worse against me. Idiot. Excuse me? Your opponent's a sucker. He's definitely going to lose. He's just going to try to discard cards, but you're going to have none, so what? Are you talking to me? Are you having a... Are you okay? No. Do you play Snapper and hope to get a land to get super aggro? Well, I mean, we could just play Pilgrim's Eye to get that land anyway. Oh, yeah. I don't have to hope, Michael. I know. Maybe this is quick enough? I don't know. Probably not, though. What? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? <sighs> oh, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus can't save you, boy. Can't he? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. You got shroud. Oh yeah, flip that snappy bitch. He doesn't have volcanic, whatever it's called. <laughs> Still do a toot all things, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what they say. Probably. <laughs> Be super random, but it'd be super on brand. Yeah. yeah. It's like, do I deal two all those things? No, I guess I'll just take. Yeah, that's right. Take it. This is a kind of aggressive start. We feel like we might need. Oh, what up, Ireland? Simic Demir. Those are two of the best. Uh, those are two of the best guilds. Put them together, and what do you get? Well, you're just missing a uh, Golgari. I was like, what's the last one they need? Shit. Shit. What's the last shit guild they need? You know. I mean, put them together, you still get salt tight, but. Okay, you know what? Take it easy. Golgari doesn't have blue, so does Mike B care? No. No, he does not. Our pet's heads are falling off? I have a deck that almost isn't blue. Harry. I took care of it. Wither, huh? That seems... Good. Actually, there's no benefit to tapping that one. It's a do 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 do. Are you okay? Just make a big noise. <laughs> like you do, you know. Get another one one? Yeah, if they want to block here and take four, five, six, seven, go to six, it's totally fine. That's a good point. Because I think they're more likely to block here. I don't think they want to go to six here. Yeah. Okay. Come and knock on our door. Gonna put you to nine. Goodbye, Dr. Crabbington. He wasn't a crab. He was a turtle. Oh, you're right. Fuck, he was But he was... You know what, man? Just because he's a turtle doesn't mean his last name can't be Crabbington. Yeah, you don't know, man. You don't know if he was a doctor. Do you? No, I don't know either, I guess. <laughs> he's really, so doctorly. There's really no certainty here. No board wipe, please. Oh, 
Oh, Rain as Hell, thank you so much for the for the raid. Really appreciate it. Oh, they just killed my dude with an Icker Slick? Well, that guy was like a cartoon character on a banana peel. <laughs> oh, ho, ho! Got, got him. Really got him. This tap guy could be good here. I was about to say Rainy Shell, but then I was like, wait, that's not how you read that. Tap guy, I'm just gonna play this because we know they have both Davriel and Mind Shatter, so. <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't even have cards in hand. What are you gonna do about that? I, I don't, I don't, I don't care about that that much. Maybe I do. Oh no. I guess when I have two one ones, it's frustrating, but. Oh, well, that's a thing. Mm, tap it, get in for two, I guess. Or get in for one and leave the tap room. Yeah, that might be better, actually. Nah, I think getting in for two is a little better. You guys are going to kill it anyway. Yeah, right, so I'm just like, I want to get that one point in because it's going to be dead next turn anyway, so. Oh, I didn't play my land. Dang it. We're in the same shirt. This is not a V-neck. This is a Henley, buddy. Also, this shirt is actually red. It's just hard to tell on camera. Get it together, Gorgasmix. It's unbelievable. Oh, what do you think they're going to anticipate, Michael? Couldn't tell you. It's going to be either going to play Dark Ritual and then play Mask Worm. That would be very good. Well, that's half of a Mask Worm. Cause it it's not even close to half of a Mask Worm. Maybe. You know it's what? only one Nego Neg and it's only one creature. Not a, you know, maybe. Maybe you're right. No, I am. Maybe. It's no, hard it's to not say. Really maybe about Who it. knows, though, you know? Who knows? What next? What now? Oh, Jesus. That guy's Okey pretty good. Okie dokie. Oh, they didn't even attack? Oh. See, that's not that's bad. That's timely. That's not bad. Do it now! It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. You don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. Yeah. What can you do? <laughs> man, I hope this one two flyer gets there. <laughs> only got three turns left, man. Did Mutual go into your black t shirts? No, it's we it's just said it's literally red. red. God. It's, we just clarified that. All also, right. I'm, I'm a lot of own black shirts. I don't think you are, no. Is that illegal? Yeah. Now the police are going to come to get you. Oh, police are going to get you. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's funny to me. Don't worry about it. I just want you to repeat it because I, yeah, I just, my, this is my bad ear, so I just couldn't hear you properly. Mm. Can yeah. you do the, the boo boo boo? <laughs> Jace the Mind Sculptor. Wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. Only the second best, best Planeswalker ever printed. Second blessed. <laughs> Hashtag oh, blessed. Oh, they're going to turn our guy. They actually might have been better off returning the flyer, but whatever. That's fascinating. Well, I guess we're going to poke Jace for a minute. It's even worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> well, we can never do enough damage to him, though. Well, they can just kill all our things, Michael. What are you going to do? Well, they have to go down to Bouncy. Going down, down. I don't know. I just think we well, have a better chance trying to kill them than we do Jace. Well, maybe if I draw my Bane Fire. The one you didn't board in without the red mana? Yeah. That's the one. <sighs> you can return their own guys, too, right? Yeah, it's any creature. Okay. He can return whatever he wants. I'm liking the content, especially the cube stuff, but just out of curiosity, do you ever think about hopping back into modern and all? Um, I mean, it's not that I'm not... I don't have anything against modern. I just... I think it's a lot harder for me to be interested in paper formats when there aren't paper events. 
not paper constructed formats when they're on paper events that makes sense like I feel like my my interest in modern and pioneer goes down when there aren't like weekly events to keep to keep up with to because there French. used to be like oh every week there's like oh that guy's real good oh boy oh create two ones yeah that's good well I'm more concerned with the negative two negative two. Oh, yikes yeah Oh yeah, that's a good one. Man, surprised we can't be Jace the Mind Sculptor, Sculptor Tomb Stalker. Uh, what was the nonsense they played against us in game one? Who knows? Not me. I mean, there's a slight chance we could kill him here if we draw the thing. We well, know they have Tomb Stalker and one random card in their hand. So if we draw Temple, or if we draw Epiphany, or anything that one works. time. It's not bad. Not bad. No, it is bad. It's oh, bad. that's what I meant. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I guess that's right. Put him to one. Wow, and this then is hilarious. Lose the game after that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Can they do that at Sorcerer Spear? <sighs> it's got to be uh, anytime they want. Whenever. Oh, that's good. Oh, and with a thing to filter them more cards? Ooh, I think that's good. <clears throat> Turns out Jace the Mind Sculptor put them ahead. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, there it is. So long, a little little spoopy. A little swoopy spoopy. <laughs> Do we have any card that just deals the damage? No. What about a haste creature? We got any of those? Nope. Hmm. And we have the amassed thing in the graveyard, so. It still doesn't get haste. No, but like there's a weird world where they tap out and we make a guy and kill him. Good. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I'll draw two lands. You draw Jace the Mind Sculptor, Guild Mage, Tomb Stalker, Krenko. Some other ridiculous card. Yeah. So it's funny because like even if we Luminous Bonds this guy. They have eight mana, so they just make two two ones, and they attack for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so that's good. Good games. Close one. I felt really in those games. Was it when you mind twisted your entire hand and we had nothing on board, or was it like? No, it was the Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, yeah. that came down after the Tomb Stalker. Again, it's just like our opponents have mythics. <laughs> What are you going to do? Lose to the Mythics. Oh, and yeah. The rares. That's usually how it works. That is exactly what I'll do. Turns out the comms and uncommons are not designed as well or as powerful <laughs> as rares and Mythics. Bit you, of a gap. You don't say, oh, we also mulligan to five that game. Let's not forget. Oh. Just like we're going to mulligan to six here. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. That's, well, I mean, we're definitely going to mulligan to six here. Okay. Maybe mulligan. You could keep it. I don't think so. What if you draw... Lots of lands. What Let's if hope they're green? I guess. Well, I'm putting this guy back. Really? Yeah, it's six mana. But what if he the best? He'll never come back. See, look, they're not green. Got him. They can still be green. Okay, you keep that dream alive. That green dream. <laughs> green dreams, Michael B. Look, nailed it. They played a forest. What does that mean? I don't know, dude. I think he's fucking losing his mind. Oh, they did play a forest. Jesus, that's did ridiculous. Did you ever have one to begin with? What an absolute fucking moron maniac. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Are you okay? No. 
Michael, don't forget. The crab is in the deck still. We can still draw it if we shuffle. It's the last card in our deck. You could shuffle. How are we going to shuffle? You got any fetch lands? Ponders? What you got? Bonders? Ponders. Oh, Jesus. Crying out loud, dude. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. To fix. I guess we don't have that many spells. It's only two out of four cards in our hand. MBD. We have five cards, Michael. Oh. Is that when you recast or resolve a spell and you untap him? What are you saying right now? It's whenever you cast a spell. It's a little better. doesn't have to resolve. They can counter it. What a sucker. <laughs> They're more basically dead. Basically trash. This should say counter target spell and any ability that spell triggers. Can you imagine? I can't either. I don't think that card needs to be any better than it is. You think it's good? In fact, I it's think it right. should be worse. I think it's too good. Look, Fertile of Ground. Yeah. Not sure if you saw in my sub note earlier, but thanks for the 41 card shout out in your article. Glad to see someone have the guts to admit and stand by the fact that, yeah, I don't care. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah. He's a maniac. Uh -huh. Look at the Oath uh -huh. of Jace Karmic Guide combo. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, they're just going to counter it. Though. Well, maybe they won't. I don't know. Who's to say? You always ask who's to say. A lot of people. A lot of people aren't to say. But you're not going to go get a little county? A county? Yeah, put a counter on your guy. How do I put a counter on my not guy? Not a counter, but a plus one. Plus yeah, one. man, I'm plusing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man, I'm doing that. Oh, everybody frowns upon 41 when they don't actually think for themselves. Like, I think everyone who frowns upon 41 does it because they're regurgitating the same information that they've heard from, like, you know, a specific amount of prose or what have you. It's like, but math. I'm like, well, yeah, but it's very small, minuscule amounts of math. Doesn't make any sense, but you know what I meant. Your odds don't change that much. The math, there's so minimal amounts of math. There's, like, little, very little math. Oh yeah, block it and sack it, block and sack, block, block and sack, sack, block, block, sack, sack, block, block and sack. Oh, we still just get the land. We still get the man, the life and the. Yeah, don't die. Oh man, what a time to be alive. Too many counters. Hachi machi. Yeah, use that. Untap that dude. My opponent has mismatching basics. I concede. <laughs> Out of disgust. <laughs> like, I have things to do. I'll see you later. Oh, that guy's real good. Does that guy do? Uh, it does. Oh everything. god, there's so much text. I'm not worried about They're it. They're gonna make me discard three cards, basically. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh wait, it's not cool. Yeah, I know. Yep. Let me pick. Let me pick the three cards. Magic Online. Love it. So that's just like a six mana. You discard three cards. Yeah. Huh. Mm, boy, seems good. Boy, the number of fucking cards I've had spell? to discard through this through this, in this draft is pretty discouraging. What? Oi. <laughs> they. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> you got it, bro. Get him. Do the big Melvin Disco. You can double block here? Okay. I'm going to eat them both. Eat them both. 
Both of them. Yeah, say things are going well, but they have cards in hand, so. Yeah, having four cards is pretty sweet. They're not low enough for it to. I wish I had that Karma Guide still in my deck. Your hand. It's, I mean, the deck would also be good because then I can get back, like, this guy, I guess. I don't know. Whatever, man. They need to draw it, though. Oh, good. A thing that costs a lot of mana. Oh, my God. Oh, good. That's a car that would have been nice to... Oh, a turtle. That's just <laughs> as good. <laughs> He's a turtle man, turtle man on the floor. Yeah, I wish I kept the Loxid on Mystic and play instead. That was probably a mistake on my part. What's an F and M? What's a turtle man? Well, it's a man who's also a turtle. Oh, this guy also has Undying. That's super sweet. Yeah. He's so he just becomes a 6-6 six, six when he comes back. Yeah, that's cool. <sighs> I'm not going to attack into that guy. No, sir. I won't attack into that guy. I will not. Bippity boppity. I will not attack into the floppity. Did you say bippity boppity? I will not attack into the floppity? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, good. Reach and death touch. Really? Okay, buddy. What do you like about that? Are you laxative? Tell me why you like that. Tell me why you like it. That's fine. This is a sad day for the blue white deck. They lost all their cards. Reach Death Taunt, huh? Hmm. Death Taunt? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's I mean, Death Taunt? He's got Death Touch and you have to block him when he attacks. God damn. Also oh. known as Provoke, but also with Death Touch. It's amazing. Michael's making up mechanics here. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> totally. Just trying to keep us entertained as we get smashed. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The internet's a good place sometimes. What is this guy? Oh, draw three cards. Seems good. The one thing I thought my opponent was missing was drawn. Oh, I guess they went, I guess they declined. I like games to end swiftly. I don't BM my opponents and use my timeouts when I'm about to lose. So what you're saying is you're a normal human who's not an asshole. I like that. Good job. Oh, another mythic. Hey, look, guys, another mythic planeswalker. Whoa. Okay, try to keep it down a little bit though. Oh, sorry. My bad. So long, my signet. Well, I'm sure that won't matter. Call me signet of the morning. Oh yeah, baby. That's the land I'm looking for. An eye for an eye. Get the planeswalker planes. Fair. Oh wait, it wasn't. But it was not fair.
trade with your stupid Spider Man. It's your Spider Man. <laughs> yep, sure. Yep. No. Cat's sitting up and just staring at the. Hey, what did we do? Oh, an arrow monculus. Arrow monculus, what? <laughs> That's a nightmare thing if I've ever seen one. Really? You don't oh. like this fish? Oh, kitty cat. Kitty cat's on the move. He's on the prowl, you might say. I would never say that. I give him pets. <laughs> it's kind of cool. funny. It's kind of funny. I guess he waited turn to play it. Yeah. I mean, they have Glenelg Archmage anyway, so. Oh. I'm just gonna go to the next game. Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna be rare, rare, rare here. So, would have drawn that for the turn. Played this, drawn this. Not had enough to cast it. So. Rare, rare, mythic, rare. Oh <laughs> boy. I'm gonna bring Bane firing again. And this pro green dude. Maybe. I don't think that does anything, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I don't think that does anything, man. Hey, man, I don't think that does anything. I think your only shot to win is for our opponents to not draw their bombs. You know, and discard our whole hand, I guess. I think that was a different opponent, right? Oh, wait, no. You're right, that was his opponent. They had that weird green guy that does it. What are you saying? Don't worry about it. I am worried. <laughs> Mike B. That is my name. I feel like I cannot do better than 1-2 in this draft format, so. It's unfortunate. Yeah. No, sir, I don't like it. You can blame me if you want. It's probably your fault, you big dummy. <laughs> Yeah, I'll keep this. Turn two infiltrator seems good. Uh, I don't think Sigil of Sleep is very good for our deck. Nor do I think returning their creatures to their hand is that effective. <laughs> Where's the lie? No, oh, Super Fritz. Oh yeah, I assume that was directed at you. I mean, they may not be able to deal with the shadowy boy. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Oh wait, they have Vraska, so that's... This costs five, man. Vraska can only kill three oh, or less. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> okay, they probably have a Doom Egg Giant or something. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to accelerate into it as well. It's going to be amazing. Accelerate. Tempest just bounce this. I'm not going to do it, but I was tempted to. I do it on their upkeep. It's a sorcery, but, you know. I mean, I make a 1 1. That's kind of cool. Barbecue sauce and burritos? I've never heard of that now. But yeah. knowing you, it's probably not real either. It's, you probably just made it up right now. Yeah.
Who's got radioactive blood? It's 100% real. Oh, I definitely believe you. You would never lie. <laughs> yeah, you're like the boy who cried. It's 100% real. Glenalendra. Oh, good. Bye, border post. Cool. I guess we get to kill it, though. That's kind of cool, right? It's the best we can hope for. Unless they play Slaughter Pact. That'd be... Oh, damn it. That was such a stupid idiot move. Oh, yeah, you should have. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to draw a land that came in to play Tapped. What are even the odds of that? Who's got radio, Michael Bees? Yeah, whatever. Hatred for ketchup. Okay, that's wild. I'm gonna do Mike Giant. What is this? Doesn't the beginning of upkeep they lose life? Sure. I'm just gonna bounce my own guy and live with it. See, this is where if I had Temple, I could resuspend this guy, and it would be great use of mana. We see that skin wing, Michael. No. Okay. You have a story as to why you hate ketchup? That's wild. I bet it's because you don't like it, and then you thought mustard was good, so you put your fries <laughs> in it. I tasted it once, and I didn't like the taste. And so he's I decided like that an, day he's gonna write you an essay and send it to that you I email. didn't like it. Ever since that day. Maybe Ketchup killed his family, you know? Yeah. It's a tale I've heard way too often. Really? That's wild. He's into the royal line. Sure. What is this fucking deck? Stomping grounds and shit? What is going on? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, not as good without a red. That's what you think. Here's a red right here. Not Ready? Come now. Bam. It's close. It I mean, was it's like the opposite color, but other than that, it's close. It was a land with a color on it. I mean, I don't see the difference really. I don't see color, so it was basically the same. Lands are colorless. That's true, I guess. No, he's having trouble turning the signet on. <laughs> Classic problem. Yeah, well, signets aren't that intuitive, so. It's funny how they always work in real life. I'm so tired of this. I guess we got luminous bonds. The name is. Oh my god! Stop getting rid of my friggin' karma guard! He's getting real mad. <sighs> wow, they heard of. What? Look at look at this. Look at the. They got they got two of my rares. He goes to bounce it. But then they just mill us again. What does that do? But like, what is? I want to bounce my own guy so I can replay it. Okay. Oh, God. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Michael, let me ask you something. Who's got radioactive blood? My dad. <laughs> Is that why he left? He didn't want to no, contaminate he has, you? he has cancer. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Michael. I was designated driver for my friend one night. He was really, really very drunk. Wow, that's a, the red's very drunk. After leaving the bar and taking him to get food, I drove us back to my place for him to stay the night. While getting him out of the car, it came to my attention that he had stolen a ketchup bottle and it opened up all over my car door. My car smelled like ketchup for at least a week or two. Oh, good. I have to discard three cards again. Cool. <sighs> Should have played around it. How do you do that? That's exactly my point. This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> I 
going far in your ketchup car. <laughs> As a child, I was forced into the ketchup fields, working tirelessly 12 hours a day. We smashed tomatoes with our orphan hands. As I went home each day, my hands red from the smashing the endless lines of tomatoes. I thought, when I get old, no more ketchup. Never again. <laughs> oh, God. See, that seems more reasonable than, like, just having smelled ketchup for two weeks. Okay, well, a bunch of flyers. Really, Magic? Come on. At least something different. Hey, man, yeah. at least our skin wing can float now. We all float down here, skin wing. I mean, yeah, but... But what, Michael? Yeah, it'd be cooler if it wasn't on land. It'd be cooler if he did. So what they're going to do is adapt this guy and give this guy float and attack for seven. Super cool. Look how many rares they hit. One, two, three. We got a fast car. I just wouldn't use my car for a while. I'd probably just burn it. Oh, God. That could be good one day. Oh, uh, triple blue, eh? You sly dog. Kenny gave us an island last turn. Too much to ask for. I think so, yeah. Seems like a lot. I mean, they're at six, right? What are the odds that we die here, right? Antibody, out of curiosity, how long ago was this? Michael B's got a fast car. Fast enough so he can drive away. I mean, it goes a little fast sometimes. Oh, big snappy? What do you do right now? You do nothing, my friend, my snappy friend. Yes, I asked how long ago the ketchup incident took place. Yeah, so I just don't think we actually attack here. You can get caught between the moon and Michael Biscuits. They're just gonna kill this guy at the end of the turn. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna adapt. Sounds good. Antibody's gonna be like, it was 42 years ago. And I'm gonna be like, bro, you gotta get over it. Ketchup is a delicious condiment that increases the enjoyment of multiple foods. Oh my god, 15 years ago? Good lord, man. You gotta let it go. Oh, I didn't tap. See, this is what happens. I read the chat, I'm talking to people, and then you just go into combat when you got tapper down. I got three cards. What do you think the odds are they kill one of these guys? And their guy doesn't die. You think it's 100%? I didn't say that I don't use ketchup. Wait, so you... Wait. So all that because you don't use ketchup on specifically your fries? But you said I have an unusual hatred for ketchup. Interesting. I still use it. I just prefer mustard. But I also hate it. But I still use it. <laughs> this is all very confusing. This is crazy convoluted. They're damage to any target. Deals three damage to another target. That's great. Oh. Super I'm having awesome. a good time. Oh, boy. Yep. Coolio. Man, that's wild. One time, 15 years ago, I smelled ketchup, so I don't like <laughs> it. But I also still use it. I just prefer mustard. This is a wild roller coaster ride. I can't handle it. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. Yeah, so I'm pretty... St I think we're dead. I 
All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to support the channel, definitely head over to twitch.tv slash Four and consider subscribing. It's $5 a month. It's not a super large commitment. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your accounts and get a free sub every month. It's a great way to support the channel. You can also slam those like and subscribe buttons or check out mandatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can get 15% off with the link and promo code down below. Yep. Just that guy. What? This is very strange. Maybe they don't like winning. I don't know. I cannot think of a card that is not in our graveyard that can put us back into this game, unfortunately. Oh, Aetherling. <laughs> That's cool. It's basically like... It's basically like someone's like, hey, hey man. man. They tapped out. We're probably going to kill it, right? For sure, dude. For for sure. That's fucking amazing. There's nothing we can do. It's just hilarious. Yeah, this game is just fucking over. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.